Okay, here's the trailer dolly all finished up. Um, I did make a couple mistakes on it, so if I were to build it again, which I'm not going to, I would change these things. So if you're building one, um, you know, looking at this design and wanting to build one yourself, uh, just take these things into consideration. Um, the very first thing I would do is I would widen this base. Um, I think I, I think this uh, lower piece, if I remember correctly, is about 14 inches probably want to make it about two feet. And the reason why I say that is because um, when I went to make sharp turns with the trailer, this wheel would end up coming around and, and hitting the foot of the um, tongue. And so, and I'll, I'll get a video of that to show you uh, what I mean. Um, and I couldn't work around that without um, raising this. So you'll notice that uh, the three holes that I created in the original video and then I uh, basically welded, up, welded on an extension and added a fourth hole down here and so I raised it up and that allows these feet to now clear that tongue piece but if I would have made that wider to start then it wouldn't have been an issue um, these are another mistake that I made was buying these tires I got these from Harbor Freight these are solid tires um, they don't do very well under the weight uh, of the trailer when you're doing a sharp turn. And I think it's actually the rims that are kind of giving out. I may build something to kind of strengthen that up. I'm, I'm not sure yet. But um, it will work for now. If I end up having to replace these wheels in the future, then I will get something that's probably got a nicer rim. Um, I don't know, something different. I haven't decided yet. But they'll work for now. Um, show you a little bit about the construction. You notice I have the hole here with the cotter pin. And this is just a piece of... My flash turned off. This is just a piece of 5 8 inch round, cold rolled round bar that runs all the way through this. And then, um, as you saw from the construction, I just ran it through here, put these cotter pins in, and anyway... There it is. This is a two inch ball. Um, I can uh, take it off and put a one and seven eighths inch ball on there if I want to. Um, I don't see a need of doing that. Um, gusseting, I would have done probably the exact same type of gusseting. Um, maybe a little bit bigger if I would have made this wider, but um, I didn't. So this right here just helps stabilize this arm so that when you pull on it you're not giving too much stress right here to this uh, joint down here this is a piece of receiver hitch uh, receiver tubing whatever they call it and then um, I mean there's really not much to it I took a piece of half inch black pipe and put that up here after smashing this end down a little bit and then I just put a couple of uh, handle you know, bike handle, handle grips, whatever, on it. And it was a perfect fit for that half-inch black pipe. So anyway, um, this is more cosmetic now than anything because I added that extension, like I said, down here. If I pull this cotter pin out, I don't have a way to lock it. Let me pull this out just a second. So this was up about this high, and now it can come down here, and it's a little too high for that pin to, for that to lock in. So I can get it lower if I need to, but I've actually discovered that um, you really don't need to make this raise up and down. You just need to make sure it's high enough to pick the trailer up off the ground. If it's too low, then it's not. You're going to have problems. Um, but other than that, I mean, other than this just being cosmetic, like if I were to do it again, I guess you wouldn't need this receiver hitch. And um, you could just put a piece of this 2x2 two two up here as long as you had it high enough. So anyway, that's the project. A couple of mistakes, but I've been able to work around it. And as little as I move the trailer, um, it'll be just fine. Um, if you just again, if you're going to be making one for yourself in the future, just take those things into consideration and hope you found it useful.